This lesson is on how to hold the stick and how to strike the drum. First of all, what I want you to do is put your hand out, doesn't matter which one because we're going to use match grip which means it matches each other and you'll find there's two channels in your hand. You've got one that goes across your knuckles and one that goes all the way around your thumb. That's called the lifeline. What I want you to do is put the stick through the first finger knuckle then in between the two channels on that fleshy part of the hand. So through the first finger knuckle and in between the two channels on that fleshy part. The thumb just comes in and that first finger comes down. It doesn't come round because you'll be moving the hand. It just comes down. Then I call these back fingers. They just lie on the stick and they move with the stick. Then you turn the hand upside down so the back of the hand is always faces the ceiling and you want roughly around about three centimetres, a good inch for old money, out the back there. You don't want to hold it there because it's longer here than it is here. So remember, back of the hand face the ceiling, then check. Do exactly the same in the other hand. And then we rest the acorns, this is called an acorn of sticks, so it looks like an acorn, on the pad or on the drum. Now you'll find it will make a shape, I like to call it upside down V, some people call it triangle, roof of a house, but that is your natural position. Now as I said this is a match grip because it matches one hand with the other. Now from here what I'm going to do, just with the wrists we're going to go up, so that means basically the sticks come right up, so the acorns are now the high point. This is the top. Now two actions required, so the first action is from the acorn. It's like a bouncing ball. When you bounce a ball, it will come straight back to you. So you're starting in one position and it comes right back. So that's the acorns, a bouncing ball. With our wrists, we want a, a sort of flicking motion. So think about when you've been to the bathroom, you've washed your hands and you're trying to flick that water off your hand. So with those two actions, bouncing ball, flicking water. So up with the wrists, we'll start and finish at the top. So, bouncing ball, flicking water. There we are. Make sure you've got your first finger or thumb grip because everything basically pivots on that point there. And then everything's fine. So, straight up with the wrists. Don't go up with your arms because obviously that's a different action altogether. It's not what we're looking for. So, up with the wrists, bouncing ball, flicking water. There we go.